your father which is in heaven stay away from strife stay away from arguments and confusion stay away from it because you can't I'm talking to somebody you can't bear fruit like that That's all your upon the Lord But God, his compassion fell on me. He knew that I couldn't judge him right. I would have judged the beer that was in his hand. And I could have said, brother, you need to put that down. You, you know, but God didn't judge him. Because he knew what was in his heart. Ah, brothers and sisters. So Paul said that we might fully know his will, but in all wisdom and all understanding. It's more than just to know that God loves me. It's more to know that I, this and that's the other about the Lord. It's important to know how to mature in serving the Lord because we can be more, we can, we can help more people. Isn't that right? And that's what God wants us to learn and to do so we can be of greater help to more people. All right. All right. So now, he says, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So there's a few things here, just in, uh, before I conclude, take with you. Fruitful, fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. God wants our lives to bear fruit, right? John 15, Jesus says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, the same brings forth much fruit. Right? Herein is my Father glorified that you bear what? Much fruit. Isaiah 61 says, Spirit of the Lord is upon me because God has anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek, to heal the brokenhearted, and so on, right? And uh, to set a liberty to them that are bruised, da, da, da. Then he says, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the plantings of the Lord, that he might be what? Glorify. Come on, let's give God a praise in the house. Son. Hallelujah. So we are righteous trees. God likened us to trees of righteousness, bearing righteous fruit. Are you with me? Bearing righteous fruit. So now you know what? So that means that you and I, we don't need to be worried about one another. Uh, uh, we need to be concerned about bearing fruit ourselves. Are you with me? Because here's what happened. If you look at Johnny, he's not bearing fruit. If he's supposed to be a Christian, you say, uh-huh, I'm better than him. Right? But the Lord might be looking, no, you, you judging. You, you worse than him because you're judging. Johnny don't judge. He may be saying, you, you become a judge and a lawgiver when I didn't call you to do that. 
So Johnny don't judge. He may be a step ahead. Of, okay, Larry, take it easy. Johnny may be a step ahead of you. If Johnny is not judging, he may have learned what you don't le- had learned yet. So learning how to serve. Learning how to walk with God that we might fully please him in all that we do. Isn't that right? Fully pleasing the Lord. We don't want to just stop. Okay, I please. You know, I'm, I'm, you know I, I witness. So I, I, I got a prayer life and so on. That's good. Very important. But all the areas now, that's when you begin to grow and become more mature as you begin to please him in other areas, right? And that's what God wants. He's, and uh, so, that we might fully please the Lord. So, fruitful. You remember Joseph in the Bible? Joseph, when God delivered Joseph from, from the bondage and the stuff that, and the, and the affliction that he'd gone through, and then the, God gave, it set, gave him this name, Fruitful. And Jacob, on his dying bed, says, Joseph, you are a fruitful bow. Fruitful. Right? Fruitful. God wants us to bear fruit. You remember what he said about the tree, that he had had that tree there for years and that tree wasn't bearing no fruit? Yeah, he come down, yeah, cut the thing down. It's just, just coming to the ground. No, it's not serving any purpose. Just cut it down. And then the servant said, no, no, my Lord, just, just can we uh, give it another year? Can we dung it and fertilize it? You know, and then, then after that, if it doesn't bear fruit, then go ahead and cut it down. Fruitfulness, right? The fruits of righteousness. Bearing precious fruit for the Lord. And, and so when God looks at a fruitful a tree that's planted by him, he just smiles. He just smiles. He says, yes, that's what I want. A fruitful tree. Carrying the light of God's goodness. Ye are the light of the world. Right? That's who we are. So we can't hide it. Right? We are the lights of the world. That's who we are. God made us such. So then let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Stay away from strife. Stay away from arguments and confusion. Stay away from it because you can't I'm talking to somebody. You can't bear fruit like that. Now the fruit of the Spirit is meekness, long-suffering, goodness, gentleness. Ooh. Look at somebody and say, ooh. <laughs> Fruit, the fruits, it's what pleases the Lord. We're talking about what pleases God, right? Because when we stand before God, if I preach right, if I've, I've shared with people and, and, and declared the whole counsel of God, somebody's going to get a hold of it. And so when we stand before God, if we live what we hear, then you ain't got to worry about what you're going to hear, right? Enter into the joys of your Lord. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up higher so I can make you ruler over many. Enter into the joys of your Lord. I was hungry. You fed me. I was sick. You visited me. I was naked. And you clothe me. So I said, Lord, if I'd known you, uh, if you, you know, 
I wouldn't, I would dare, I wouldn't dare do that to you, Jesus. Jesus, when, when did this happen to you? I didn't see it. <laughs> Jesus said, you remember all these you passed up? And I ain't talking to you, but I'm just giving an illustration. So we have a duty and obligation in our love for Christ. Developing more to the sense of knowing what God or pleases the Lord, right? Not only knowing it, but determined in our heart to walk with God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'll never forget, there was a famous lady, I won't call her name, because I'm on the air. She said, when God deals, shows you an area of life, your life that he wants to remove, he said, she said, deal with it. Don't play with it. Deal with it. And that lady is well known because she dealt with them as God brought them up. She dealt with them. She, would, she wouldn't take it lightly, you know. And, 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 and that blessed me. That really spoke to my heart. I said, ah, you know, you want to see how, why God uses some people on a greater plane? It's because they took his word serious. Isn't that right? We're not going to be hearers only. But we're going to be doers of the word. Hallelujah. All right. Bringing it to a conclusion here. So he's talking about being fruitful. Right? Whatever we do, we want to be fruitful. We want to bear fruit. I lived on a farm and then I remember uh, we had fruit trees. And there was one tree. It was so big and pretty, but it wouldn't bear no fruit hardly. Just, I'd look for fruit just... Just a few little fruit. And then I looked at another tree that was much smaller. And it was loaded with fruits. It made me happy. It made me happy. Wow. That's the way it is with God. When he sees fruit. Fruits of patience and long suffering. Joyfulness. Temperance. Allowing Jesus to bear this fruit through us, right? He's the fruit bearer. So it's just a matter of learning how to yield to him. Learning how to let him have his way more in our lives, right? And then uh, he'll bear the fruit. He's a great God. Okay, so I don't want to put any guilt trip on me. Anybody say, oh, I've been trying. Oh, God, they add something to my list. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) Remember, God in you will bear the fruit. Just learning, yes, learning how to cooperate with God. Amen. Okay, so um, um, fruitfulness. Now, thankfulness. Oh, that one worked on me. I had to, I had to, really. Thankfulness. 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 Am I thankful? Are you thankful? I sat in my living room just this weekend. I got up in my devotion and I start talking to the Lord and I just start thanking him. And the presence came so swiftly to minister to me. So I just kept on thanking him, right? But he began to just allow me to see. It was almost like years ago we had several things that if we did, God, it would bring us into God's prosperity. How many remember that? Years ago, things that God gave us. And one of the first thing was Thanksgiving. First on the list. God says, be thankful. Psalm 100 says, serve the Lord with gladness, right? Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Serve the Lord with a glad heart, right? Remember what he said to Israel? Israel didn't serve the Lord. They never learned thankfulness. And uh, so things happened to them that shouldn't have happened. And so we don't want to be like that. So thankfulness. We want to be thankful. That's one of the things that I really want to meditate on more. Because he made that real clear to me. I want you to be thankful. I blessed you. I blessed you. 
And sometimes when things happen to us that's bad, it may not be easy to thank God with a thankful heart. But we can with God's help, right? We can be thankful. Now, follow with me in Colossians. Uh, are you still at Colossians chapter 1? Look at verse 3. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Always praying for you. Look at verse 12. Giving thanks unto the Father who has made us fit to be partakers of the inheritance. Everybody see that? Look at chapter 2, verse 7. Rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you've been taught, abounding, overflowing therein with what? Thanksgiving. Okay, look at chapter 3. Look at verse 15. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which you also are called in one body and be ye thankful. Look at verse 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Look at chapter 4, verse 2. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with what? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. That's one of those, uh, that's one of those truths and concepts that God wants to incorporate in our lives. Being thankful. Be thankful to him, he says. And bless his name. Do you have everything you need? Maybe not. But this is where my mind went when I was in the presence of God. I begin to thank him for health. I begin to thank him for a right mind. I begin to thank him that uh, COVID had not come near me or my household. I begin to thank him that I didn't have a son that had been murdered through police brutality. I begin to thank God that the storms and the hurricane didn't wash us out. I begin to thank God. And it was like God saying, that's where I want you to be, right there. I want you to be thankful for the goodness of God. You can always be worse. I remember years ago. Go ahead, give him some praise. He's deserving of praise. I remember years ago before I came to pastorate. I mean, it looked like things were so bad. I was in this little old place called home. It was embarrassing. They were swamp rats, bigger, big as a kitten. And we were fighting off swamp rats. And, and I, you know, normally a, a mice, you can jump at him, he'd run all over the place. But these swamp rats, I jumped at him and he just looked at me. It was like he said, what you trying to do? You know, I was, but I'm saying I dwelt there and, 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 and um, it wasn't easy. When I came to Norfolk, God says, I want you to learn to be thankful. Things could always be worse. And I remember saying out of frustration, hear me. I remember saying out of frustration, it can't get no worse. And every time I'd say it, I'd go a little lower. It'd get a little worse. So I had to change my confession. I had to start thanking the Lord. Hallelujah. And you... You, the, you that are hearing me today on by way of television, you, you may find a hundred things to gripe about. But hear me this day. If you will start thanking God for what you have, for your health, for your life, your strength, your families, then God will start changing things for you. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thankfulness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then finally he said, strengthened with all might by his divine power. Hallelujah. Strengthened. Strengthen. Listen to what he says. Strengthen too. Verse 11. Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Serve the Lord with a glad heart. Don't be like this. Well, when he changed things for me, then I'll praise him. Don't be that way. You start right away. Praising and thanking the Lord. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? Strengthen with all might according to his power. So that the fruits of righteousness are flowing out of you. Through Jesus Christ. In a situation you don't like. Hallelujah. Bear with it. You know. Have a good attitude. Isn't that right? Glory to God. And God will bring you out of it. He'll bring you out of it. Uh, I remember this person. I'll never forget. They look for a place. They look for a place. They look for a place. Oh my goodness. Until they almost got sick. Looking for a place and couldn't find. And then finally. They said you know what. They got mad. I ain't going to worry about it no more. They just laid it aside. And kept right on. And in two weeks time. They had what they needed. If anything obsesses you, you got to let it go. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. When you do, then God will get involved in a wonderful way. Strengthened to all fruitfulness by his power. Sharing. This is what I felt the Lord going. He said, showing people how to live by the way we live. Showing people how to live by the way we live. That makes sense, y'all? Yeah. Hallelujah. Be a, let's be a light. Let's be a light. Ye are the lights of the world. Hallelujah. Sometimes people will never be one until they see a Christ like attitude in your life. So many, there are many uh, children. Or loved ones of the saints that are outside the kingdom needing to see Jesus in the lives of the saints. And when they see those fruits, it causes them to want the Christ. Your Jesus, your Christ. Hallelujah. People are watching us everywhere we go. They're watching us. Let them watch until they are convinced that someone is living on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let us stand together. Father, I want to thank you, Lord. I know let your word apply to my heart. Oh, God, I hear your precious word. To walk with God. To value the things that you value. To love what you love. To fully please you Lord. In our attitudes of heart. To walk in wisdom. Spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen every believer here today. By your divine power. You didn't leave us to do it in our own selves and by our power. But there is a power. There is a strength that comes from the almighty God. (laughs) 
when we will to do his will God stands there ready to help us in the right hallelujah so all we have to do is say Lord I surrender I yield it over do unto me do through me what you want to do live through me oh God hallelujah 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 you'll find God going to work like you've never seen him work before he'll heal he'll set free he'll loose the bands that got you bound the chains that hold you back because he's that kind of a friend hallelujah 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 if you're in a situation right now I want you to say to the Lord and to yourself what would Jesus do if he was in this situation and believe it or not he's in it he's in it because you're in it ask him Lord what will you do in this situation <laughs> I remember one time <laughs> one day I had first bought my other home that I had and after uh, two or three months I got behind two I said what is going on here I mean Lord so I mean why is this I'm behind what, what would you do <laughs> what would you do if you were in my situation God said I'd take authority over him and get him out of my finances that's what I would do I was like oh you know <laughs> But brothers and sisters, what would Jesus do? Hallelujah. What would Jesus do? Glory to God. Now don't ask me if you ain't serious now, all right? <laughs> Come on, let's give God some praise in the house. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I want to reemphasize now. I've preached and taught, but I want to reemphasize that the power of Jesus is made available to help us in this which I was teaching it is not some human ability that we have of our own that can accomplish this that's why Jesus is in us to will and to do of his good pleasures glory hallelujah glory to God all he needs is a go ahead and a right attitude from us isn't that right and an agreement glory to God because see, see when you walk in agreement with God he, he, he don't have a struggle no more trying to help us isn't that right glory to God God have your way do what you need to do and God keeps on working I saw your case. upon the Lord.